I was born in Hominy, Oklahoma, which is on the Osage Reservation. And some of the things that really influenced me is that place and that space, these remembrances of these foundations, which also reflect Osage worldview. When you go to make art, you really have to rely on nobody else but your own thoughts and your intuition in terms of you know, what it is you want to see in the end, how you want that to be an expression of who you are. I choose textiles, I choose clay. They're similar, but they're not. Clay is very earthy and rough, but it is totally the earth, and fabric can be soft or rough. Most of the things that I choose, it's kind of soft. Back late 1700s, that is the first documentations of Osage people receiving military-style coats. There's one story that one of the chiefs brought it back and his daughter wore it in an arranged marriage ceremony. These coats found their way into that ceremony and into the Elonshka dance. It tells such a big story about who we are, where we come from, our history. This coat has, on the printed on silk, it has a map of Osage County. It has pictures of my, of my grandmother when she was a little girl, it has pictures of my great-grandfather. It has songs represented in it. It has flora and fauna that were important to us in a cultural sense. And so we wanted this to be a representation of that whole kind of thought and feeling that is very different than what I experience in mainstream society. So the outside was all hand done. I was always keeping in mind all of these kinds of things that actually help form us as Osage people in terms of how we view the world. Then the documents that surround it are from disparaging comments about us and how we were viewed in that time period. And, you know, they say a lot about how we were viewed as a people and as a culture. That's one of the things, you know, in my work too that I'm, I'm always thinking about is how we view ourselves and how we are viewed. It certainly had an impact in how we are seen today. We've always known who we are. And so my comment to that was, you know, interspacing it with these Osage designs and Osage language symbols and then with the name to know your people are beautiful. We don't need words written about us to define who we are and how we see ourselves. We define who we are and how we see ourselves. These are the things I see.